On Tuesday afternoon, a stone's throw away from where Duane Hilton would later be executed, police discovered the lifeless body of Davy Copius. The 29-year-old had been dispatched in a most unusual and cruel manner. Whoever killed Copius had disemboweled him and dumped his remains into a sewage pond in an area behind Faber's Road known as Dyke. I had no idea that led to his death. I really don't. Because I don't know he had any conflict with anyone. Not that I know about. I don't know. How did you find out that this body that was recovered from the dike area was indeed your son? Well, the, the identity and the discriminate, the, dis, the way how they describe, I said that's the description of my son. Copius was last seen by his family on Monday. When police arrived at the scene of the discovery, he was already in a partial state of decomposition. Without an identity at that moment, an autopsy was performed on site before burying his corpse. The investigation commenced. We have now identified the body as DFV Corpus, a resident of the Genosha Boulevard area. However, due to the state of decomposition, we had to bury the body yesterday before we actually learned the name of the individual. But so far, we have spoken to his family, who last seen him alive sometime on Monday evening. So our investigation has begun from there. Copius's mother believes that her son may have been drawn into the area where he was sadistically dispensed with. To my belief, I guess he was lowered there by someone who he knew, because he wouldn't go with no one he didn't know. When the policeman, Greenwich, called call me about after 11, and he come and he asked me for a picture, if I had a picture, and he talked to me and anything. And I gave them the better yes, I said, the only picture I had is a voter's ID. So he asked me about the boy, and I tell him, I say, he had on a dream pants, a red and black Jordan tennis, a citizen watch and a black and green beads on his hand. So he said, you sure? I said, yes. I said, the only thing I didn't know about was the tattoo. I said, but everything else, that's his. So he said, okay, so now when I show him the picture, the young lady that do the right up, she looked at the picture and said, yes. This, she looked at it and said, this is the description. This is the same person. So I asked them, I said, I asked them, did you take any photo of him? When they finally said yes. So when I went to a hospital and I went and I looked at the thing and I confirmed it that, yes, that's his body. As for a motive, police are stumped as to who killed Copius and why. There is no lead in this, in this latest homicide. There is no lead whatsoever. And we are asking the assistance of the public, anyone with information can contact us. So far, we have nothing to indicate the reason why anyone would want to kill this individual. We are still in the process of recording statements and interviewing people and hopefully we can come up with a motive. But so far there is nothing telling us why this person was killed. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanika